Hey everyone, welcome to the demo scene for the Bomber Bug PBR. Uh, let's get right into it. We've got some blend shapes to check out in a bit, but let's start with some lighting. We've got different lighting setups here. There's uh, directional light from the very front, point lights for what it might look like inside, some colored lights so you can see what it would look like with various colors uh, reflecting off his different parts, and a spotlight for top-down uh, lighting. So we're going to stick with the um, with the daytime lighting. And so all of the textures are completely customizable inside the editor. Um, and you can pretty much do almost anything you want with them. We do include these texture sets right here um, if you want to not create your own. I do suggest you try creating your own because it is quite fun, I think. And it's nice to be able to... Um, I didn't need that change. There we go. It's nice to be able to customize uh, the look to fit your game. So if you don't want to, you can go ahead and use those texture sets. Uh, and then we've got different body parts. You can turn off the wings, you can turn off the carapace here, you can turn off the horns and the pincher. And this way you can make uh, different styles of bugs. Uh, bugs are more uh, tough looking than others. Um, so we'll leave those on for now and let's check out the blend shapes. So this is the new thing. Um, there's a lot of shapes here and you can morph the mesh of the model. One of the new things I just added for this um, package going forward is these preset files. Um, so since there are a lot of these, and, and, and actually the Devil's Pack that I've got coming up has 175 of these, and 175 is way too many for the demo, and so I've created a preset file system where you can save your settings and share them and, uh, uh, and save them and use them in-game. So, uh, so it's quite fast. Uh, you can just save all the presets, and um, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out, we'll start with the default shape here, and we'll check out um, the look here. I'm going to start the rotation so that we can uh, see it as it goes around. Hopefully nobody will get sick from the, am I going to zoom out? Alright, so we've got our feet size, you can increase and decrease that uh, lower leg, middle leg, and the upper leg. And we've got the points here, these are these spikes on the end, which is pretty cool, make them look a little bit more hardcore. You got the wing width, you can go really wide, really narrow, um, carapace size, that just brings these spikes out again and makes them look more hardcore. I actually really like that effect. Um, we got the uh, horn length, and I can stop the rotation when we get to the front here. Alright, and so we've got a uh, horn length right here, brings those horns out, you can bring them back in a little bit if you'd like to. Horn spikes, brings out these spikes on top of the horn, uh, and the thickness of the horns. The bend in the pincers here, and the thickness up and down, and the pointiness of them. You can make them a little bit more pointy, or take the point off almost completely. These two little mouth things, you can increase the length of those. You can increase the head width, make them look like an alien or something from the movie. And the head height. So there's a lot you can do with that, uh, coupled with the texture sets and the ability to turn on and off different uh, body parts. There's actually a lot you can do in, in creating a lot of variety in the different um, in the different bugs. So I'm going to stick with the sharp look because I really like that look as we check out the animations. So we've got the uh, locomotion forward and uh, backwards. Of course you can slide between those. And we've got our idle break animation. I'm going to zoom this to the front so you can see it a little bit better. So it's idle break animation. There's attack one. It's a pincer attack. Attack two. Attack three. Uh, and you know what? I was using the spiky one before, huh? I actually had to redo the animation part of the video because I wasn't recording my computer audio before. Uh, so we've got our spit cast there. Dodge, got hit. Death animation, just a regular death, and also, and we'll bring him back. Regular pose. These guys explode animation. Looks at that once more. Poo. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, he's got his air animations, and if the one knows one thing to notice here is there's transition animations between ground and air as well. So it's not just straight up and down, he's got those transitions. Um, so we've got fly forward, and we also have fly backwards. 
And then we've got these uh, animations. Now the ones with the asterisks here are actually using avatar mask, so it's the ground animations, but with the flying body. Uh, so you can combine animations like that, which is, which is pretty cool. So this guy spit up there. Dodge animation, that one's unique to flying. Here's the ground one. Got hit while flying, got hit alternate in the ground one, and the death. So there's a lot you can do with the uh, bomber bug. And um, we also include concept art, which uh, has a, this is great for um, use with the uh, uh, your Steam page, your website, and all that, uh, just to populate it before you have a game to show. Um, if you have any questions, let me know on the forums, and have a great day, guys.